Gents, you've got the Nations Cup coming up. Could you just introduce yourselves and tell us a little about yourselves? Hi, I'm Freddy. I've been playing volleyball for, what is it, 10 years now? Started in 2014. Yeah, still going strong, seemingly. Yeah, sir. And I've been playing volleyball for quite some time now. I think like 2010 is when I started. And yeah, just been working hard with Fred like the last four years now. Coming on to four years as a team. So yeah, excited for Nations Cup coming up. Uh, what got you into playing beach volleyball? Yeah, so I come from, may or may not know, I come from a like volleyballing family so I was allowed to sort of find it for myself but then it was my, actually my dad who sort of suggested I think he wanted to play a little bit more together I would go to Crystal Palace and start there so started there as at, the, at that time there wasn't actually a junior club so I was the one junior at the club it's I'm glad to say it has since taken off so it's <laughs> the right steps the right yeah. steps now and uh, for me yeah I started volleyball at my hometown club Richmond and then from there I kind of just went to play on the sand on the beach a little bit one summer and then from there I went to Leaf in Bournemouth and that's where I really started playing beach volleyball a lot more and really started pushing the game a lot more as well. Um, we've already mentioned you're both playing in the Nations Cup uh, what are your hopes for that competition and what do you expect to get out of that? You know, I think our goal is to qualify for the final round in Yumala Lavia the month, like a month later it's going to take a lot of just building through the tournament, you know, really pushing ourselves in every game and then hopefully a final battle against another strong team and just kind of bringing our level. Yeah, so just piggybacking off what Issa, Issa said, just, yeah, we go there probably underdogs. I mean, we're playing, like, the likelihood is that we're playing Germany in Germany. So it's, it's always a little bit of a special... People always play slightly better at home, so it'll be an interesting challenge. And then the following week or so, you'll be also playing in King of the Court. You played in that last year as well. What's that competition so special to you about? What, what makes it so great? Man, I mean, I don't know where to start. Like, yeah. the the vibe, just the atmosphere, you know, it's it's unlike anything. You know, yeah. the the music in, in the arena, the people who organise it and the players, you know, every it's such a high level of, of volleyball, but also just... The level of uh, the level of like hype that everybody brings around the event. It's just, a, it's just a spectacle to watch and to be part of. Like it's yeah. really well organised. It, they like it, they think of everything for the players, and it's a really great atmosphere. We're here today at University of Nottingham. You've recently been working with Freddie from the University of Nottingham. How has that helped you, and how has that helped? How has that transition worked for you guys? Uh, I mean, from my side, I, I think it's been it's been great. You know, Freddie is a very good coach. Obviously, he's shown it in the last years with his program here at Nottingham, and just the way he approaches the game and the way he kind of looks into detail into all aspects to see where we can make improvements but he doesn't you know quite heavily like data run so for us it's, it's very good like to see key markers and really keep pushing and seeing you know where the progress is and where it can where it can continue to grow as well yeah it's still very much in its infant steps but yeah there's absolutely no confusion because of the names still working <laughs> out a little bit but yeah um yeah nothing but good things to say about freddie so hopefully you're talking yeah. about yourself or the other coach 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 <laughs> Me as well, but that's no. Um, looking forward to working with him on a slightly longer term basis. So, you've both obviously got great chemistry, as we've already seen. What are you looking forward to most about the 2024 season together? Tough one. I um, mean, obviously, Nations Cup's a big one because it's an opportunity to qualify for the Olympic Games in Paris this summer, and then throughout the season, I think the biggest thing for us is just going out and competing. We we do enjoy going to competitions and competing and just constantly trying to grow and evolve and then just trying to enjoy the process while we're doing it. You know, days can sometimes be tough, but we have a great team supporting us and being able to compete against some of the best teams in the world on its own kind of brings that weight of enjoyment. Yeah, it's going to be a long season. Hopefully get to see some cool places and play some good volleyball. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, you're both part of Team Deep Dish. What's it like down in London with the beach scene and working with those people? Yeah, so as I said before, it's kind of where I sort of, yeah, took my first steps as a beach volleyball player, as, you, as it were. So, yeah, it's glad to be able to sort of hopefully give back a little bit and help help what they're doing there because it's really cool what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, from my side, it's it's definitely awesome to be part of that, that team and that community. You know, in London, the, the volleyball community is so large because you have people from all over who come to London to play as well. But also the, the aspect of, like, the junior club, which has grown so much the last years. It's awesome to kind of be around them and, and just help help them with like any any sort of questions or any sort of like ways to improve and you know in our junior program you've seen it in like the last two years they've gone from strength to strength from just being beach kids to 
being in like a semi final of the underage national champs and for indoors and it's exciting it's, it's exciting to be a part of it and then talking about that junior development what advice would you give to someone who's looking to maybe start beach or who's already playing indoor and then wants to move out to the beach outside i mean just kind of give it a go i mean if you could, if the weather's like this it's <laughs> it's, a, it's not particularly tough sell like it's, no, I, I would say definitely um, if, if for people, especially if they don't know where to look for it. You know, I know you can find, uh, I think on the Volwing website, there's a, there's a spot that, where you can look at local clubs. And just don't be afraid to reach out and just ask. You know, there's always beginner sessions. There's always opportunities to try out and test it out. And then just come into it with no expectations. Just enjoy it. You know, you come from indoors and it, you'll find it's not the exact same game as indoor volleyball. So you just got to be ready to kind of adapt and enjoy it and keep growing from there. Yeah. Well, good luck for the Nations Cup, gents, and whatever else holds in 2024. Thank you. Thank you very much.